Coach, you think uh, a good start to the game, but then you backed up with a good start to the second half and give you a little wiggle room there at the end of it. I think anytime you know you're up 17 and a half, you want to you know, get it over 20 before it gets to 10. And you know, we did that. And even though when they got cooking a little bit there, they started making some threes, and, and Timmy was in the lane, you know, we still had I think enough of the cushion there. Bryce seemed to play. Was oh, he was crazy. Today? I mean, I thought the way he ran the break in the first half is you know how he was running it at the end of the year. It's how he's been running it lately, and we're a different team. You know, he's pushing it. His decision making today was phenomenal. Five, five, one assist. I don't know, but he he locked in on the glass. I mean, this is a team that really rebounds. He gets seven rebounds, seventeen points, made his free throws. You know, in the second half, that one stretch where we were really struggling offensively for about three or four minutes, he made a huge basket in traffic at the end of the shot clock. I mean, just really played like that. Like a senior, he's he a good defense on free. He did, you know. And the funny thing is, you look at Timmy, and he still goes for 23. But you know, you, we we did a pretty good job corralling him, I think, in the first half, and, and for the most part in the second half. But uh, and we got him seven turns. That, that was good. But uh, we got to do a little better next time. You think starting puts him in a better frame of mind? Just no question. Absolutely. You know, that, that's probably true for just about everybody. There are some that, for whatever reason, like to come off the bench. Yeah, I think he much prefer to start. Aaron but, Wright was all over the place too. Uh, he had 17 points, nine rebounds, six steals. He seemed to do it all. The other thing is, you know, I think from a stamina standpoint, Scott, I thought he was really a different person. You know, he, I don't know if I could have played him 32 minutes in an intense game <coughs> eight weeks ago. Uh, but, you know, he's still making plays. I mean, he's got three blocks, two steals, four assists, 17 points, nine rebounds. Two dunks, five for six from the line. And what, what more can you say? The, a very uh, impressive freshman. The uh, team got off to a fast start again, like they did in the Minnesota game. Well, I think you know that was a result of our defense: stops and, and fast break, stop, fast break. Aaron White hit a couple threes in that in that run, and that helped because yeah. we had them spread out a little bit. They were running back to get to keep us from getting layups, and hit a couple shots there. I'm sure rebounding was a big topic of emphasis after the Indiana game. How pleased are you with the last two efforts? Well, it was, a, it was a big topic after the Indiana game, but you know, especially in this game. This team really goes after every 50-50 ball and every rebound the same way. And they, they rely on second and third shot opportunities on the same possession. And you know, we were ready for that and we competed. You have to, or else you know they're just going to keep getting the ball back. and and make it that much hard for you. Just hang around, hang around. Then he hits some threes, Frazier gets going. And that's kind of what happened in the Illinois game. You don't necessarily have a guy who can is going to have like 15 rebounds a night or something like that. Are you pleased when you see the balance of rebounds? Well, you know what, the way they play, that's what it has to be. Mm -hmm. It's got to be everybody. And that's that was the most impressive thing about Bryce Cartwright's line, in my opinion. Because you know who their leading rebounder is, Frazier. So I mean, our point guard had to get in there and mix it up today, and he did.